I'll defend your business for me a little bit. How is this not exploitive? Uh, well, not at all. I mean, the, uh, there are many new uh, domain names. We've actually been running the .XXX domain uh, very well for the last four years. Uh, and the whole point of the new domains is to allow people to uh, easily remember uh, website addresses uh, and to have more convenient ones rather than 20 or 30 characters. Someone could have uh, palmbeach.dentist or, in our case, uh, somebody could have something like uh, amateur.porn rather than a very long name. So uh, New York pizza bay area dot florist so there, there's a very good reason you know uh, dot com is is rather cluttered with about 116 million registrations so this was a this subject was talked about for many years within ICANN the governing body of the internet uh, and really this is we're just seeing this come to fruition now well there's obviously legitimate uses but what about the trolls out there I mean how do you address that yeah, there, there, once again, this was something that was discussed in depth by ICANN uh, uh, in conjunction with the intellectual property uh, uh, people. And uh, there are m uh, methods in place. There's a uniform rapid suspension. It's quite easy to get an offending, infringing website taken down within a 48-hour period. Um, so that there are challenge mechanisms. Uh, some, some popular brands, well-known brands and celebrities, decide that uh, prevention is better than cure. But there are uh, methods after the event uh, to deal with any problem. Like what? So how should celebrities and, you know, brands try to fend this off? You know, the Internet seems to be growing faster than they can manage, essentially. Yeah, but, it, you know, it's, it's not quite similar to the bricks and mortar. You know, a anyone that has intellectual property has to protect it. Uh, you know, if there's a new shopping mall open and somebody opens a burger bar and sticks McDonald's over the top of it, then McDonald's Corporation would have to do something about that. So, uh, really, this is a, like a shopping mall, I guess, uh, in cyberspace. And uh, people can decide uh, to pre-register uh, using their trademarks, which they get first shot uh, at taking the names, uh, or, or they can deal with fringes after the event. There, there really isn't any other solution. And quickly, there are some regulatory changes coming up where uh, the U.S. body that oversees these domain names may be handing it over to a multinational organization. What do you think needs to happen on, on regulation? We've got about 30 seconds. Yeah, well, uh, I, I can uh, is that currently that body, but it has oversight by the American uh, government, and uh, uh, as a strong advocate of free speech, I prefer it to stay uh, in the hands of uh, American oversight personally.